Hello, and welcome back to the Magic Let's Play. Let me see. Whoops. That's right, I can't walk around. Um, last episode, we lost half of the, um, sound. So... What happens? Basically, there are these statues that the sea hag turned people into, and this girl, these are this girl's mothers, and and also I grind a little bit off screen because well, that's not really important. Anyway. We're now underwater. I think we'll have technology for traveling underwater, you know. We have built some of these our city's marvelous things that are simply astounding. Oh, how I can start having them. But I will return one day, we'll see that. And when I do, an age of peace and light will dawn. We're underwater, walking on the bottom of a lake, yet we can breathe. We, we never... We never even came up with this as an idea when we used to ride our own adventures. Truly, really, truth is stranger than fiction can ever be. Um, isn't this so, um, unique and strange and not something I've done a hundred times before? Yeah, that's so weird, just being underwater and stuff. Better than us the chests. Let's go this way. No, let's not go that way. Why not? Looks like there might be something interesting there. No, I'm pretty sure there isn't, and besides, one mission here. Quest of two. A quest of two actually, so we can't just keep going around the temples and stuff. If you say so, then how do you know there's a temple this way? I don't. That's not important anyway. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, this is the way to see how there's three chests in here. God damn it, something lagging in this game again. <laughs> God damn it! I've got to learn that poison thing. That the that the stone rod gives me the earth rod, whatever. Ugh. A magical draw restores 100 MP, and it's probably made from liquefied fairies or something. Who knows? It doesn't matter. You'll drink it anyway, even if you found it lying around in some mad matey cave. I think this is the way to the chest. You know, maybe I should skip these bits. Eh, oh yeah, you can cast on deep heal and I'm dead and it deals damage. There's something interesting. Oh, it is the chest. Oh, and it moves around. Oops, a bronze sword. Whoa. Oh, that's right. It has abilities that I can't use, but I can wield it, and it's more powerful. Four chests. I really love the music in this game. Even though I used to turn it off when, um... Remember I said that I used to watch Lucky Star while playing this? I used to turn it off because, you know, can't have two sounds conflicting.
Or maybe I didn't say that because the sound... Hmm... Damn, I can never do the reactions just right. Cool motion potion. Let's see what the description of that says. This type of potion cures paralysis. They're also useful for cheating at sport. Perhaps. <laughs> I hate the chests that are just filled with money. I think... The sea hag is up, so three chests must be down. <laughs> just missed it. And now I'm really, really out of magic. So as I said, I normally hate grinding, but the grinding in this game is kind of fun. But as I said, you're not grinding for... Yeah, another thing I like about this game is, um... Is the fact that there's skill involved with the reactions rather than strategy. You know, strategy is good, but a little bit of skill is also good in games. You can't just have a game be all strategy. You have to have it somewhat be skill as well. And that's what reactions do. Let's just run and go to the save thing. So before I fight the sea witch. Offspring riding? Hmm. Oh, I'll just fight the sea witch and then do offspring grinding. <laughs> Morbid fumble. You never get the reaction. Also, you know that the uh, clickable skills. If you don't do the reaction, you don't learn the skill. So... Yeah, finally. And right now I'm trying to learn the skill from the rod that allows me to poison enemies with my spells. Yep, this is a sea hag. Let's just fight her. Wow. This is the lake hag? Yes, it's a creature that lived in this cage for ages. It's not usually been a bother. In fact, it's still used to here at one point due to its magical powers. What were you expecting it to be? I picture some kind of old woman thing with seaweed for hair. How odd you are. Gwaaah. Something's clearly wrong with her lake black. It's never acted like this before. Do you think you should? Gwaaah. Gwaaah. I'm gonna have to heal. Oh, God damn it! Ooh, I don't think I can heal through that. Oh, this lag. Must be traps. Ooh, 
that nasty. <coughs> Maybe I'll just have fun with this. It has been ages since I played this. Yeah, I poisoned it. Interesting fact, um... The way experience works in this game... You also, you gain experience every time you do an attack or do an action. But also, you know, when the creature dies, you get a... The whole party gets experience. But... The person who kills... Who kills the, the creature gets a large bonus of experience. Who deals the final blow. However, if you kill something with poison, then everybody gets that bonus, and that's especially useful for boxes. So I'm gonna... I'll just let the poison... Oh... No, that's not gonna work out so well. Okay, maybe if I can... Yeah, okay. Just one more attack. Yep, I'll just let the poison do this now. <laughs> And everybody gets the bonus to XP. Oh, I should stay down here and grind. Oh, I guess I can go back up. This looks like one of those fancy teleporters used by lazy people for getting out of dungeons in a heartbeat. If you step in it, you'll be walked to the entrance of the cave. <laughs> you feel the world swirl around you. Let's talk to Dagon. Let's talk to Emma. Uh, hello, Maverick. Uh, nice um, weather we're having. Uh, is there something you want? I was just wondering how you were doing. Oh, um, I'm fine. No problems here, sir. Actually, I'm rather enjoying traveling with you guys. I'm not exactly used to being with you guys. Apparently, it's, I sort of had in my head that they all sort of like, like steely, but you're not. You're nice, hooray for you! Yeah, let's go... Let's go some more, um... Keep being nice too. <laughs> Somehow, despite the fact you're all wearing heavy metal armor, you manage to swing to the surface and climb up the slippery wooden side of the slippery wooden hole. Here. And the people haven't turned back. Yeah... Um... Well, we defeated the late hag, but my parents, they're still statues. First in the fate. That's bad, because if it didn't, then I don't think there's anything we can do. <coughs> These sorts of curses are types that can't be dispelled by regular magic. In fact, your parents' souls most likely have already left their bodies. I'm sorry. But mommy, daddy, what do I do now? Would you, um, you're good people, you killed the late tag, um, can I come with you? Well, I don't see any harm in it. No, Magic, she can't come with us. I mean, it's greatly unfortunate when her parents are gone, but there's nothing we can do, and there's nothing we can do about it. But if she came along, it'd be too dangerous for her, and she'll be a burden for us. I mean, she's just a young girl. You ever heard of a little girl fighting monsters or traveling around with adventures anyway? That's just ridiculous. I've got nowhere to go. You're from Kidoria, right? Do you have any friends in the village? Yeah, I suppose. If you went to them, I'm sure they'd understand. You look after yourself much better than they could. We could. The entry isn't something a long girl like you should do. You can get killed. And you so much to live for. I understand. I'll go to one of my friends' house. Well, then, thanks for coming to Lake Eye. At least nobody else will, will die like my and daddy did. Oh, wait, though. What are your names? Well, I'm Magic, and this is Dagon and Amelia. Magic. Magic. Oh, I remember that. Bye now. Did you just walk through us? We don't understand how to look after her. Hope she turns out okay. <laughs> so now we can finally go here. Oh yeah. Off screen grinding. Okay, she's mastered the poison ability. 
So now I can move on. Oh, it's this guy. Greetings, and well met, dear friends. You look like soldiers. Though you said here because of the monsters and things, it seems to be unnaturally usually active. Are the Mishi Shaman now? Huh? Yes, that's exactly why you're here. How'd you guess? I'm here with the same thing you see. I knew they'd send soldiers. I'm sorry though, but you're not needed. You can go home. I'll be handling this. No need for petty soldiers to get involved. Petty soldiers, who the bloody hell do you think you are, mate? I'm Baron Igelu, a paladin of Yorgot. My mission to aid those in need of it. And I came here on the winds to help these people in distress. You came on the winds. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, you soldiers. <coughs> soldiers won't be necessary. So I'm quite capable of handling this myself. And I said that already, so go home. What makes you so sure you won't be overwhelmed by something you don't expect anymore? You seem like the sort of tax who works alone. So how will you handle that? Well, I'll pray to you all up for existence, of course. And that will help, will it? Has he ever helped you direct? Correctly helped you before? Ever zap your foes with free money? He gives you fucking paladin powers! Not in so many yours, but your does assist me. It's not in such a bold way, so he's much more subtle. He does give me support, not back and bold. Anyway, so it's not just soldiers, but the season soldiers too, probably. You won't understand. Unless you all go home and go play with your toys and pray to your luck, good news, but not worship them. Well, I do what needs to be done. Adios. Ellipses. He'll be dead within the hour. But Lima, this is your hotel. Maybe you should go say hello to your parents and maybe your friends. Um, my parents moved away a while ago, probably, so they don't live here anymore. And, um, all my friends moved away too, just like I did, so nobody I know lives here anymore. Okay, how about we go to your whole, whole house anyway? I'd like to see you grew up in the Uh, it's probably been knocked down or something, but hey, would you go to the back and see the there? Let's go on mission, come on. Right. Oh. Oh, let's not buy that just yet. Oh, I can go to the potion shop and see all the lovely descriptions and all the funny descriptions of potions. Let me see. Better potion. It's better than a normal potion because it restores 200 HP and it has more friends. This is the trend of your movies and it gets invited to more parties as well as more sex. Oh yes. Oh. Holy water. Holy water blessed by Yalrod. Used to cure curses and zombification. Being blessed by Yalrod, as it is, it burns the mouth pretty much anyone when they drink it. It burns skin even if you just rub it on it too. Liquid sound. A vial containing vaguely liquid-like substance that cures silence when drunk. And even when sober. Wow. If you put it to your ear, you can hear a never-ending tune liquid light. A magical potion which, mag which restores the sight of magically blinded eyes somehow. Maybe it's made from eye juice. Balloon juice. If you drink this bodily juice from a balloon monster, you'll be cured of numbness. You'll oh, so be really disgusting. Ew. And... Let's talk to all the people. I'm an adventurer, and I'm a woman. That does not make me a sex object. I'm not wearing a chainmail beneath you. Bikini. We women can do everything that you men can. We cry now since he gets disease. We slay monsters and sleep on rocks. We sweat and die. And we shouldn't have to wear skirts. Stop looking at my chest. <sighs> you know, I've never actually seen a proper chainmail bikini in a game. It's just like... What? <laughs> I don't even know if they exist or not. You ever heard of the Elemental Christies? Laddie, ladder, lady, ladder, boy? I bet you haven't. The water one's supposedly hidden around here, but nobody knows where. I checked in my bed, at my bookshelf, and under my table. I didn't find it all. It's a really well-hidden mystery. Oh yeah, there's Zach. He's a mercenary I can hire. But I don't think I'll do it this time. Uh, she talking to these people, right? See that guy at the bar, that's a uh, blah, 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 blah. See that guy? <laughs> I 
could slit his own throat for half a copper. I have no idea of that man in the bar, but I bet he's a clown. Ooh, or maybe a fighter or a robot. See that guy at the bar? That's Zack, a mercenary. I heard that he sits on toads and plays with the coppers. See that guy at the bar? That's Zack. He's a mercenary. He's a scary black man. See that guy at the bar? He's Zack. He's a mercenary. I heard that he'll slit your throat and pay you a copper. Can't be bothered serving you now. Get out of my bleeding face. So I'm not gonna hire him. These pots remind me of women. I like women. They can be used for carnival relations. There is one woman in this house. We all look the same and like the same food for a You can never tell with this sort of thing. This wall is my friend. I, f I had a fish of her fruit for a food some time ago. I miss it now. <laughs> I'm sleepy. They're all called chaff. Damn that shaman. This commercial in the village is all that shaman's fault. Now all hell is breaking loose. I don't know what to do anymore. I think it might just end it all. Life is fun. Party with me. <laughs> you like biscuits? I like biscuits. I like a lot. I don't even know what one of those is. What is this? You want to read my bookshelf? Is that sort of creepy pick up line? <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> Did you hear? Pseudo Lone Wolf totally lacks fire cool. Pseudo Lone Wolf is the maker of this game, by the way. I live alone and I'm so lonely. <laughs> well, my brothers, they said to meet me at the mushrooms for a good old fashioned game of let's take our clothes off and run around scaring children. But then I'm here and I'm glad that idea sounds stupid and illegal. <laughs> oh god. We're sure lucky you have this zombie proof cave. I bet it'll be really useful if this town is ever attacked by zombies. Which would be a rather unexpected thing to happen, really. This cave's really small, I don't think there's anything else in here. There might be a chest. Yeah, it's a chest. I'll get it later. So I talk to that guy, talk to her. I hear social talk is dead. That's unfortunate. I wanted to make sweet passionate up in my bed. But I suppose there's always his corpse in the tomb deep in the Gonzo catacombs. Uh, I don't remember that. I sure hope this town doesn't get overrun by zombies this week. That would be unexpected. Oh, Magic, you came! If you know what I mean. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, well, how are you feeling? I'm better now. Glory and your parents are so nice. Ah, oh, this is my parents are the other I feel much better now. Yeah, you gave me an item. Well, thanks a lot. I'll stay in touch. Wait, what did she say? Spend more, spend more time together, just us. Magic, come on, we have to... <laughs> You're being jealous. Okay, so... Well, that's odd. Oh. And I have the magic skills. Uh, um, are you the people who helped Ali after her? Um, what happened? Thank you so much. You are good people. And I'm so glad Ali is there happened. Yeah, yeah, they don't say anything funny. Yeah, my back is not what it used to be. Well, why are you telling me this? I don't know. 
Mods came into our house yesterday and all, all our tables and chairs. Then we had to find new ones. We also ate our son, probably. He's dead now. That's what happens when you live in the world. People die. It's annoying. I don't like soldiers. I'm old. Oh. oh my brothers, I sent them to meet you like the mushrooms from good old chat about women and how we consider them to be objects. But they're not here and I can't be off looking for them. Oh well, where's my day going down the pond hole? Well, there's that other guy who looks just like you and he's also looking for his brothers. That guy's probably an imposter. It's not a very nice thing to do, impostering. If he regrets it on his deathbed. Where are my brothers? They said to meet me at the mushrooms for a good old fashioned swearing competition. They're not here and I don't know where to look for them. I can't see them anywhere. I'm too scared and lazy to look for them. Maybe we can help. Yeah, what? No, you can't. Stop meddling. I don't know you. Go away. Shouldn't there be another one? Yeah, let's just go into the guardhouse. Hello, fellow shoulders. It's good to see fellow soldiers. They probably want to see you go in. Go right in. Your soldiers were right from Gondorus, you know, said you were sent by a Jackie boy to help with the monsters and he's like, Well, that's right. Go no, good, I should bring you in there. The monsters seem to be coming from the woods and stuff. And then, you'll be there, monsters in there. Just like any wood one, but it's only recently they're starting to act like that now. Blah, 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 blah. The reader is the shaman went, to addition to find the shaman, blah, 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 blah. Go into the woods, blah, 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 blah. And that's all for now. Bye for now, everyone.